Quantum cryptography currently has a practical distance limit because we require an optical link between the two groups of people who are using it. They need to send photons down that link. And they need to send the photons in a way that the quantum properties are preserved. Now, you cannot send light through an optical fiber or through the atmosphere for more than 100 kilometers before the quantum properties are, are lost. So one way to try and overcome this limit is to put a quantum light source on a satellite in space and then use those satellites to beam the quantum particles, the photons, down to receivers on Earth. So my research group has a roadmap where we are trying to build a platform that carries a quantum light source in space and we actually are visualizing a global encryption network that's maintained by a fleet of these quantum satellites. The first step in our roadmap is to try and build a space qualified quantum light source that can fit on a small satellite. It was actually quite a challenge to shrink a, a standard lab experiment into a very small package that fit the very stringent power and size requirements of a satellite, uh, but we've actually done that. So what do I mean by space qualification? Well, first of all, the platform or the device must survive the launch into space. So it's usually placed on a rocket and the rocket is shaking very violently. So it must survive all these uh, vibrations. Secondly, it's going to be in space where there's going to be very big changes in temperature. And so the whole platform must be able to tolerate these big changes in temperature, which are typically between minus 20 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. So we're talking about, about 40 degrees uh, temperature swing. Then finally, there's also effects of radiation. So we've also had to expose all the different components in the instrument to uh, radiation that simulates what we expect in orbit. So when we put everything together, uh, we had to shake it, irradiate the device, and also you know, bake it in, uh, uh, in an oven, just to see that everything survives uh, the conditions in space. So we've actually managed to put everything together, done all this testing, and shown that it worked. And finally, we decided to test it in an environment very similar to what we find in space. And we do that by putting it on a weather balloon. And this balloon brings it up to 35 kilometers. That's three times higher than what an, an aeroplane would be flying at. And we found that it worked all the way from the ground up into what we call near space. And then the uh, package came back down on a parachute and it was working all the way. And so we were actually quite confident that when we launched this device into space, uh, it should be working quite nicely.